Hello everyone, this is Esan. In this video, we are going to have a look into the Stanford C++ uh, library. Specifically, we are going to look into the random number generator. Random number generators are useful in many cases, like if you want to simulate coin toss, you want to simulate dice throw, you want to create a game. In that case, you want to give, a, give the user a unique experience every time it, they start the game. So the game has, has to do something random. But then when you are as a developer, uh, when you are de designing your game, then during the design process, you want the randomness to be fixed, meaning that you want to uh, test your code. So if it's generating random number every time, it's very hard to say whether your code is working. So in such cases, what do you do with random number generators? How, how do you make them generate random numbers in a fixed pattern or when you want to so or in case when you want to really deploy the game and you can change the fixed pattern generator into a random pattern generator um, all this will make sense when we start exploring so let's dive in and let's open the chrome browser for my case i will go to let's say new window and uh, i bring it here so let's write random stanford c plus plus it takes us link gives us link to the random um, uh, package um, so it generates so it says that this file has functions for generating pseudo random numbers and there are some functions given these are not methods these are free functions because they are not associated with a class so let's copy paste some of them because we are going to use them so let's copy paste and go to Qt let's make some comment over here remove all this okay let's keep it here and i can basically just do this so um, yeah and as it says that in order to use this library you have to include random.h so i copy this i go here i say uh, don't include Control V random dot H. So now the random library is included, and I will just paste it here. And just for visualization, I will give some tab. So let's work with the first thing. It generates a random boolean value with a probability of fifty percent. So what does it mean? Let's do C out random bool. So it returns a boolean, so true or false, or one and one or zero, however you call it. Let's do, say for instance, endel. If I run this now, let's see. Control R, it's building, it will come, and the random number it generated was zero. So it didn't generate a random number, it basically generated true or false. In this case, it is zero, meaning false, it generated false. So what I could do is basically I could do this. Let's check what happens if I generate like 10 random numbers. Int i is equal to zero, i less than 10, or let's say 10, then i plus plus. And since this is just one line of code, I don't need the curly braces, I run it. And you see, it generates random numbers. So zero is false, true, 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 true. So let's skip this and let's run this thing again. Okay, let's run it again. And now you see it's, so if I keep it here on this side and I bring the other one on the other side, if I just place them side by side and I put it up and I give this, you see these patterns are not the same. So even though, so you're running it twice and it's giving us different patterns. So this is random, although the computer is not doing it completely randomly, but to the human eye, it seems random. However, if you want to test your code, in that case, you don't want randomness all the time for testing purposes. In that case, what you could do is you could select a seed. Seed just means that if you select the seed 10, the number that it will generate will always be in the same pattern. What do I mean by that? Let's run it. So in the first case, it's one zero one 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 zero one 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 one. Now, if I run it again, 
so this is the new run and if I, if I bring along the old run over here side by side and you see that the patterns it generated is exactly the same so if you know the seed number if this number is fixed in that case the number it generates subsequent number it generates are always the same you have to play around with this a little bit to get, get a feeling about this now let's have a look at random integer it provides a value so you have to provide a value high and a low so it generates any number between those two ranges including those numbers so let's say we want to simulate the coin toss sorry not coin toss uh, dice throw in that case it will be between one and six so it will also include one it will also include six as it is in so it says it's inclusive so let's run this and in this case let's run it 100 times so let's run control R so it generated 100 random numbers and let's generate it again and now if we place them side by side you will see it's the exact same pattern for two different runs you still get the exact same pattern because you have selected a certain seed now if I change this seed to 15 and run it it will generate a different number let's see if it's if this is true so we bring along the other two cases uh, one second please and let's so this is the third case this one this is the first case this is the second case so you see that these two cases with the same seed number 10 generated the same number while this one with the seed number 15 generate a com generated a completely different number so if I go up it's completely different so I hope you get a feeling about this um, so you see it includes one it also includes six in a similar way you could generate real numbers between low and high so in this case it's a half open interval meaning that includes so it's inclusive the lower number so if you give so let's say if you want to give a random real control C change this to control V and this becomes 1.0 and this becomes 6.0 what this means mathematically is this that is that this number will be shown meaning that it might generate a 1 but it will not generate a 6 it will be always less than 6 that is what it means by half open interval so you include this thing so this is inclusive but this is not so let's just show the last thing so random chance this is an interesting thing so basically what happens is you provide a probability uh, so if you provide a probability of 0 0.1 in that case it generates a true value with 0 0.1 probability so if I run this you see that if you check that the true values are very sm there are not many true values most of them are false <clears throat> most of them are zero because you chose the truth probability to be very low so it generated random numbers based on a probability if you increase this number and you say that you want to simulate truth with 0.9 percent probability in that case if you run this you will see most of them to be one coming one so most of them are coming one <clears throat> think about it a little bit so this can be used to simulate uh, biased coin or something like that. So I hope you understand this video and we'll use it somewhere else uh, for the timing. I hope you enjoyed.